What is going on, guys? We are back with more World Cup action. <clears throat> My man Easy is playing for US West uh, in San Manu. He's starting. He's playing with Zephyr from Team France, I think. The score should be two and two before this game. So I think I've seen Easy use this team before. I'm not 100% sure. But I think this is a substitute Celestealer Stealer with Leech Sleep Flamethrower. I would Leech Heavy Slam and Protect without Flamethrower. Is either lacking Flamethrower or Heavy Slam? I don't remember. And I think the Coco is Z Wild Charge. So they both bring some like more bulky offense looking teams. I think yeah, his team, depending on the trend set, it could be called Balance. I mean, Easy also has these two walls, but the other four Pokemon, if, depending on the Landers set, if the Landers is offensive, Easy's team is more offensively based. But if he's defensive for Oxland, or you can, I think you guess, I guess you can call both teams balanced then, yeah. So he switched out Ladi and Akurum on a Mew turn one. So this might be Zemo Kurum, and he was scouting for knockoff, maybe. I'm not sure because I was thinking he was Zemo Coco, like I said at first. Oh, he predicted them to go on the top of Bulo, I'm not sure yet. But they both have a Kyurum and it's Life Opsy. Like I said, this is not Z move. I'm pretty sure this is Z move Tapu Koko. I mean, his opponent knows now this is Life Orb. So even his opponent will know it's either Z move Koko or Landorus. Unless it's Z move Steeler, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, Lefties. Mm. So this Kyurum might be Scarf and have a Dragon move to. Easy's gonna gonna scout for that, so I think your opponent might double switch, exactly. Into Mew, so not not much happens so far. He can just throw the Will O' Wisp here. If he has Psychic, that's also nice. And yeah, Easy can go for Toxic Spikes or Toxic. Like I can understand why he switched out the Mew because he didn't want to be poisoned potentially. Like if if it had Toxic, he had to scout for that. I agree with that play. But it just works out for this guy because Heatran has a good matchup versus Ladi unless it's Earthquake or Z Ground Ladi, which is not gonna be. This is only Rocker besides the Mew. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's Rock's Tren, exactly. So it's Lava Plume, Toxic maybe, and Taunt in the other move slots. Girl to be Earth Power and Magma Storm. But I've seen some Lava Plume trends lately. He taunts predicting a potential Toxic Spike. But I mean he has a Toxic Pack to get rid of T-Spike, so it's not bad for him. He does take a Scald to the face at this 29, so we can figure out if the trend is offensive from that damage. Let's say OU Spit Death versus uh, Toxic Packs. Skull does 19 to 23, so the Heatran is more offensive. Let's say it's just max HP. Let's give it a timid nature. Skull does 26 to 31, so I assume this is just a max HP, max speed Heatran. From the damage that we see. Yeah, Easy's just gonna be fishing for a burn here, because the Heatran wasn't staying in. So this is not Black Sludge, which makes me think it could be Shetchel. We have seen uh, Shetchel Toxapex a lot lately. It's either Shed Shell or Rocky Helmet, but I think it's Shed Shell. A lot of Toxapex that run like a lot, a good amount of Spit Death have ran Shed Shell lately. Easy just defog the T Spike away. Uh -huh. I don't know if I would have made that play because he has a Pax anyways. So he went into the top of Bulu, potentially scouting for a trick. He also would have been able to live a Psy Shock. Uh, he might have been able to live two Psy Shocks, we can call that real quick. Uh, Tapu Bulu, uh, Ladios, I think it's Choice Scarf. Uh, why does it have Psychic in the Kalka, not Psyshock? That's weird. Yeah, Psyshock does 41 to 49, so with Grass Drain, that can easily take two of those. 
So Easy is gonna be forced out into his Celesteela here, or you can also go into Cure him if he predicts a Sword Stance. That would be aggressive play. I think the I don't know the exact Coco move set. I just know that it's Z Wild Charge. And it might have Brave Bird too, but Brave Bird probably doesn't Oko from full, so going hard Coco is not the play. You either go hard Cure and predict in the SD, or you go on the Landris or Steela, yeah. Like something to get off the Intimidate, like either Lander gets off the Intimidate, Steeler checks it. Um, going to Heatron is a nice play. Gets back the uh, Grass Tyrant recovery. We see no leftovers on the Heatron. Does, is this guy running a double Shed Shell team? We have not, I don't, we have not, I don't think we have seen anything from his Kyurem so far. Because if his if his Kyurem shows um, Z move later on, I think his Z move is either this or this. But we have, like, I was thinking for a second he could be Z move on Heatran too. Because he doesn't have lefties, but like, that's not really a set. I'm really thinking that this guy's carrying a double shed shell, which is, which just showed that uh, <laughs> Arena Trap is stupid. <laughs> I mean, Heatran would have covered the Celesteela earlier. They're saying he's so good in the chat. Like, it was basically a fine play because the Ladius was not staying in and he would have gotten grassy terrain. And yeah, Mew is, basic is able to check this with ease, especially with grassy terrain and leftovers. So he can just go for Roost here to be safe. He goes for Wolverine, but he's a faster Mew. Wow, so Ice Beam does a good chunk because he's um, like more offensive Mew, or be he probably doesn't have much Spadef investment, he's probably more Fistif orientated and the rest in speed. Uh, I assume this won't have any Spadef, I just said not much Spadef, but I assume it's just a good amount of speed, some sp Fistif and rest in HP. But yeah, Curum doesn't beat this one on one, like Life or plus Burn will bring the Curum down, he's forced to Roost eventually. So the Mew, unless the Mew gets frozen or crit, is going to be able to stay um, stay healthy. Because Izzy is either forced out or forced to switch after a few turns. Like either forced to roost or to switch, is what I meant. Yeah, I think Mew Wraith, just Wraith, got a rise in usage or in, in the viability rankings, is what I meant. I don't remember if it's A+, plus. we're talking about A+, plus here. But yeah, since the score is 2-2, two two, this game is like important. My man Easy played one game in Auras um, in the first round of World Cup. If I didn't mention at the beginning, this is still World Cup round 2, and this is quarterfinals basically. I always put it in the thumbnail, but I, it still doesn't hurt to mention it again, right? So there's the roost on the turn that he goes to Pax as if he knew. <laughs> so this is the set that the um, Spadev talks about with Chechel has used lately. We have seen it from a lot of members from Team US East. Is a uh, toxic toxic spikes recover infestation, which is no scald. Um, I'm not sure if he will be running the exact same set. I assume he's just gonna go for recover with his toxic packs. Gets up a T spag. The reason I didn't think he would get up a T spag is because it doesn't really help him. In the sense that the defogger from Easy is the Ladi, which which is not touching the ground, so it's not affected by T spags. Uh, he also has a toxic packs, which just gets rid of the T spags anyway. But he wants the defog to get rid of the rocks, but. The thing is, when he defogs to get rid of the rocks, Heatran can come back in and set the rocks back up. But Heatran not having lefties means Heatran will get worn down if Grassy Terrain isn't up. But I could really see this, um, I can understand his team if he's double Shed Shell because he has the Grassy Terrain. Which is like really cool to, for these po two Pokemon that are weak, these three Pokemon actually are weak to ground. So Grassy Terrain helps him out in that sense and also gives him like, um, Gives him like um, passive recovery on the, these two months. And Grassy Terrain with Mew that, also, that already has leftovers seems nasty. He gets a crit which sucks a lot. So there goes the Mew that I was talking about the entire time being a nice check to cure him. Um, I think that would have been 
Was it a would a high roll have killed? Because the thing the thing the damage that he's done earlier was 50, 52. I'm just scrolling up to see the damage that he has done. I see 50, 52, and 47, so I'm pretty sure that crit mattered. I don't think a high roll would have killed the Mew. So this is Scarf Dragon Claw Outrage. Just the way he's bringing this in. Like he's really confident that he outspeeds the opposing Kyurem. I mean he also knows that the opposing Kyurem can't kill him so he doesn't have to be Scarf like a Dragon Moves beats this one on one but I'm pretty sure just the way his team is built that he's gonna be Scarf Kyurem. Because his team seems really slow and wants uh, some speed control It also doesn't have any priority. So I would probably go out on the Toxic Packs here if I'm easy to get rid of the Toxic Spike and then he goes for Fusion Bolt, which is an aggressive play, really nice play. It does 70%, wow. So I'm not sure if that's Bandit or Scarf. I'm gonna Kalk real quick. If it's Max Attack and the Toxapex is like Fist Dev. So the Toxapex is Isa Spadev. Let me make it calm real quick. Yeah, this could be Max Attack Scarf and the. Toxapex is a bit more speed death than this one, this one that I'm running in the Kalk. Because you guys can see this 71 with a high roll. Or this could be Bandit and the Toxapex is Fist Death. Which is what I'm gonna Kalk real quick. But I was thinking that the Kyurem is Scarf the entire time. Um, I assume easy. it's not, okay it's not choice Kyurem. So it's gonna be Z move then. Wow. So he does not have speed control, maybe he scarfed up a Bulu. So he went for Ice Beam predicting. Easy to pivot into Latios or Landorus, probably into Latios. He keeps going for Ice Beam expecting the switch. <laughs> and now this Toxapex is healthy, but it's still in range from Fusion Bolt. I think Easy's gonna pivot now into... Into what? This was such, this was such weird turns. Like a... <laughs> I'm not sure anymore like about his team at all. I thought this was Scarf. And the Zemo was on top of Bulu, but like <laughs> Since the trend didn't show an item it also could be Zemo trend, obviously. Yeah, I thought that he would predict easy to switch out because he was still in range from Fusion Bolt. <laughs> Tactical recover spam. I would not have made those plays. As I don't know what I would have switched to though. Like I probably, depending on the type of Coco set, if it has something to kill the Kyurem, I would have gone to that. But I probably can't kill the Kyurem. So is he just gonna? Oh, he's just going for the Skull Burn. He doesn't get it, so this doesn't really help Easy out. <coughs> he takes off his packs. Okay. So like Zephyr just said, I've had enough. I'm just keep, I'm just keep fusion bolting. If you stay in forever, if you went into Ladi that specific turn, it would have been a god play. Yeah, so he has the top of bullet in, in the back, which could come in here. As it covers the Draco Meteor, it doesn't get two hit KO'd from anything. That Ladi can run, I don't think, unless it's Specs Ladi, but it should be Scarf. Um, so I could see Eevee going for Defog here, predicting a switch. Does he just drop a Draco? Okay, I would have gone for Defog there. I mean, it's a Kyurem, and I understand the play because there was a Kyurem in your face. You don't want to play around with a Kyurem Black. That thing is a monster. I mean, Skull is a disgusting move, I don't... <laughs> they're talking about that he should've gotten the Skull burn. <laughs> so it's not choice Latios. What the fuck is going on? These people just don't like to run choice Scarf users and... I don't know if they do this on purpose to get me mad. I don't think Easy set up rocks this game yet. If he's gonna be Scarf rocks Lando, I'm gonna be triggered. There's still the option that he's Scarf Coco, but he should be Z-move Coco. So people just don't like to bring Scarfers in, in these games, it seems. <laughs> so it's Lava Plume. 
Stealth Rock Taunt and the last move is gonna be Toxic Slash Earth Power. And I'm pretty sure yeah, like it's not gonna be Z move, like it's gonna be Shed Shell Trend or some some random other item. I don't know which other item. Doubles out in the cure and black like a god. I think he was predicting um easy to go out into his own Kyurem or into Landorus, like it was kind of a mid-ground play. I think he was more so predicting easy to go into his Kyurem. And the Celeste Dealer, this is gonna get blown out the window by the Sub-Zero Slammer. I'm kinda surprised that it even lived this. I mean, the Sub-Zero Slammer was free to click there, like, it easy did not have, after Toxapex died, he had no switch-ins to ice moves anymore. Like, it was basically killing something. Like, it didn't kill the Steeler, but it brought it in range from any other move that Kyurem has. And at that point, it was no, there was no point in saving the Celeste Dealer. Um, I really want to see the Celeste Dealer put in some work, because it's like a set that people don't expect. I really think it was the Substitute Leech Seed set. That put in some work versus me when I played him. Oh god, I'm gonna get hate from, from people from West if I revealed his set. If, I, if it was really that set. It could have been a different set, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I don't think they're gonna be using the same team again. So he's not Scarf. He should life up on his QM, right? So. He, I see Scarf Coco, Scarf Lander doesn't have speed control in that form. He just relies on his bulky core. He's gonna double out into his Kyurem, which covers the top of Bulu switch and it covers the Heatran switch, so that was a really nice play. And Grassy Terrain cancels out the burn damage. <laughs> <laughs> so, really nice play by my man Easy. I think he's gonna pivot into Toxapex. Oh, Toxapex is at 76. Hmm. Elf power is not affected by progressive terrain, I don't think. It should still be have his full power. I still think he's gonna try to go into his Toxapex here. Can Tabu Bulu potentially live a move, by the way? The Ice Beam? If the Kyurem is more physical orientated, it has a chance to live. So if it has Z superpower, it could go for that if it has like if it gets like a low roll on the Ice Beam. But he just goes into Toxapex, as I saw, he doubled into Lanarus, he's gonna get up his rocks here, okay? I wanted to say get up his rocks at first, but then I was like, what if the Pex just stays in? Because Grass Dewan was up, so the Pex technically doesn't really care about the Lanarus. Harden the Coco on the Ice Beam does a good chunk. So I want to see if this is a special attack invested Kyurem. The rocks are going to be nice as flip for easy. Yeah, this is probably just a physical Kyurem, okay, with a naughty nature. Watch him go in a Manectric on the... I mean, if you're Sefi here, you're going to predict... You're going to predict him to have Dazzling Gleam. Because why else would he bring this in on you, right? Because he can't... I don't think he can kill you with anything other than Dazzling Gleam. Maybe Easy just wants to get off damage. <laughs> Let me check his smoke on page. <laughs> what? Does he think Easy's using another RMT? <laughs> This is definitely not like easy is known to like use p teams that that are from the forums or that that are not well known but this time I don't think this team is known that well <laughs> But yeah I think easy will just wants to get off damage on a Kyurem and he's willing to sack his Tapu Koko I'm pretty sure this doesn't have dazzling gleam but I'll call I actually don't remember I don't, I think it's a Z wall charge and that shouldn't have dazzling gleam 65 to 78, so even Dazzling Gleam would be a roll if it's running max special attack. I 
Oh my lord, easy goes for Ruse, what a god. So, I don't know if he has U-turn on the set, but it's Ruse, it's the wild charge. Maybe Brave Bird in U-turn, or maybe Brave Bird in Taunt. I mean, he could still be running HPIs, because that 2-hit kills Landros even without special attack investment. And Double Dance, or just Offensive Landros, seems a bit annoying to his team. He has his own Landros, but... Still, yeah, he does have HPIs, and I don't think that's. I don't know if it has special tech investment because it did absolutely nothing to the Tabu Bulu. We can calc real quick. HPIs should do 39%, so I'm pretty sure this doesn't have special attack investment. Yeah, this is probably like a jolly Tabu Coco. Yeah, yeah, does 77 to 33%. And there's the Gigavolt Havoc. Um. It should have done 27, it did only the 25. I don't know what I'm calking wrong. But yeah, Horn Leech gave him all his health back, the Gigavolt Havoc bounced off. Wait. This guy has Shell Bell Tapu Bull? Who's mans? After an attack holder gains 1 8th of the damage in HP. That's not a set. This boy really had Shell Bell Tapu Bull. Yeah, I think he did show Zemov and Kirim if I recall correctly. This boy definitely using some wild sets that you wouldn't expect. I still don't know what is going on with the Tapu Koko, because even if he has no special attack engagement and a jolly nature, he should have done 27, but he only did 25 to the Bulu earlier. He does sack off the Bulu. He didn't really have switch-ins to Kirim. All he could have done is go packs and life up stall a bit. Scarf Lando wins. I don't think it's Scarf Lando, cause unless he's Scarf Rocks. <laughs> How much does Ice Beam from Kieran do to Kieran, by the way? Yeah, I don't know what is going on with this type of Coco set. It should not have done that little damage with the Hidden Power Eyes. Ice Beam does not that much if it's non-life orb. Easy does win a potential speed tie. And since his life orbit was able to pick off the opposing Kyurem. Manectra can't. Might have to go for overheat to kill this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, overheat might kill, but no other move can kill this. Overheat is probably gonna be a roll, something along those lines. Oh, some, like, something like that. Like, if anything, it's a roll, like. It's not a guaranteed kill. Oh, it's a guaranteed kill. Wow, I'm underestimating the power of overheat. I mean, if easy Scarf Landers that cle should clean him up the game, unless he gets burned by Toxapex, he should have the win locked up with that. But he shouldn't be Scarf Rocks on this team. That's so weird. Yeah, there's one specific fire move that killed the overheat one. I'm not gonna ghost here. I'm not gonna say anything in the chat because you know, smoke tools, you're gonna get muted if you say anything wrong. Goes in the Lari break in the overheat slash flamethrower. Probably the overheat. Oh, hidden power eyes. Gets the crit. Wow. Hidden power eyes would have done zero to the key room. So I'm not sure if he predicted the Lari to come out or if he. J or if he was just hoping to live a hit from the Manek with the Manek trick. How much would Earth Power have done from the key room? He was life orb. If he's physical Kyurem, it would have been a roll, but if the Kyurem had special attack investment, it would have killed for sure. I don't remember if he was physical or special. But yeah, Manectra can live HPIs from full, and he's obviously just gonna click Earthquake because he has like three ground weaknesses left. But he still can't get over Shell Bell, Tapu Bulu. What the fuck is going on? So he's probably gonna go Pex and Fish for the burn. Pex obviously can live Earthquake. We will be able to tell from the damage that the Landers does now to the packs if it's offensive Lando. Yeah, if he's Garf Stealth Rock, I guess that's wild, but it still doesn't win him the game if he gets burned. I mean, yeah, Scarf Rocks isn't that bad, but I just didn't think that he would be Scarf Land on the specific team as he doubled out. What? See, it's Protect Landris. 
It lifts HBI's Manectric. Oh, he got off the Intimidate. But it still doesn't lift because of rocks. So yeah, this game is in Easy's favor. <clears throat> Curum's just gonna spam Earth Power now. Toxapex is gonna run out of recover. This Earthquake is gonna bounce off though, thanks to the Intimidate. And like I said, I don't think he was Scarf on this team. He's Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Protect. The last moves either HPI, so... Toxic. With Hardy Cure, which is a fine play, because you want to get rid of the Intimidate with your land race. Yeah, he also crit the Mew early. That sucked. Mm -hmm. he just forfeits. He's gonna spam Elf Power. He's gonna eventually get the Spadef drop. And assume if that's not enough, he also has his landers in the back. Man's just said GG with a laughing face. So Easy's 2 0 this World Cup, pretty nice. He went 1 0 Auras early, like I said, in the last round. And now he picked up a win for his team US West. And his team should be 3 and 2 now. I don't know if I like said anything wrong. I might have mixed up this guy's team, but he should be on Team France. And Easy on West. Thank you guys for watching. This game was so weird. I thought he had Brave Bird because he should have been physical Tapu Kogo from, from what I've thought because he definitely had no special attack investment from how little the HPIs did and just from what I remember when I played was easy when he had a team like this. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to record two more games that I... Um, like I have to narrate over them, I recorded them earlier for you guys. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I might upload them before this, actually not sure yet. No, I think they were from a different series so I can upload this game before the other two. This was a fun one. Um, Shoutouts to Shell Tabulu. The crit on the Mew was definitely annoying for him. I don't want to say it's game changing, but it sped up the game. It was the Mew could have been so annoying for Easy. Like that sucked a lot. But Cumon had like no switchings on both sides, especially the Z move blew away that Cell Steel. Like that's just what Cumon does. It's like a balance breaker. And. I don't know what the f if he was really double shed shell <laughs> that's interesting and shows that people have enough from of getting trapped by Dr. Trio. <laughs> but yeah anyways have a fantastic day and I'll see you later with more World Cup coverage. Doc Rich signing out. He was max HP double bull, that's why the HPIs did nothing. So that just to end up this video, I calc HPIs and it shouldn't have done that little Oh he had his chance to lift the Iceman from the Curum. Oh the Curum was live up. Oh so he could have potentially lift the Ice Beam because he's max HP. <clears throat> but yeah this explains why Tapu Koko's HPIs did absolutely nothing to the Tapu Bulu. Because it did like um, 2 or 3% less than it should have done from what I recall. From what I remember. Um. Kieran Black versus Tapu Bulu. Guaranteed Oko. <laughs> They're putting question marks. He doesn't have a chance to live. Maybe he was calking non special attack invested Kieran. Um, not sure about that. But I, I wanted to end my video, man. But if he gives me a response, I'm kind of interested in that. Maybe he calked. Yeah, he said, my bad. Okay. Yeah, he was calking max attack. Yeah, yeah, the calc has max attack automatically. So yeah, we just figured out some information here about his Tapu Bulu. So it's Shell Bell max HP. And yeah, he was obviously special attack, like this guy said. So they, he had no chance to live, in, to live the Ice Beam with his uh, Bulu earlier. Thank you guys for watching and we out. <laughs>